Madison, what state are we in? Alabama Goodwill Outlet. I get a little confused because, you know, Madison, Wisconsin. I'm not sure if there's a Benz in Madison, Wisconsin, but I, it doesn't matter. Listen, I've never been to the Benz here. It's brand new, I've been told. So first new Benz in a while on this channel. I think something that we've all noticed, but maybe sort of haven't talked about yet is how much leftover hand sanitizer there is from COVID. I feel like there probably are news reports that I've just missed about warehouses full of hand sanitizer that they can't get rid of, this overcompensation that happened because of COVID. Um, maybe I just missed those news reports, but it's everywhere I go. They can't get the stuff away. Dollar. There's more of it. Advanced hand sanitizer. I've got, I've got boxes full of the shop. I don't need more. I'm opening my Depop shop back up, so I would like to be digging through clothes, but honestly, there's a lot of new stuff. That looks like a big shirt. Tommy Bahama, let's go. John Mayer on the radio. Maraca in my hand. Farming simulator. Why would you play farm simulator when you could just play Minecraft? That's what, that's a real question. Play Minecraft instead. Throw this away. Throw it away. Actually, I guess we can go ahead and scan this. I know I see this at Walmart for sale still a lot. All right, what do you think? Over or under 20 bucks? I bet it's like $5 on eBay. $10, that's close. 537 buy it now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 or 11 clothes bins, five or six bins for uh, home goods. And then there's some racks full of already priced items. It's on the small side. I thought that was an LOL doll I might get for my niece, but it is not, but I do believe that is. So at least the kids are getting something because all I've found so far that I might get is a picture frame. <laughs> if I can convince myself I can fit it in the car. A very interesting thing to note. I've never seen this before. These are the carts at the Goodwill bins. It's a trash can, and that's a knockoff Chuck. Where's the, where's the? Light up shoes, if they were big enough for your boy, but they're not quite there. <laughs> they're tins. Also, pretty good prices on picture frames. I think they're almost all like two bucks, which is okay. I'd like to take some of these home to the shop, but we're on limited room, so I do have this one in here. What's this? Three ninety nine. Too much. Too much. Too much. Good color though. Be a good TARDIS picture frame, wouldn't it? Uh, I found one video game. Figure skater. It's in there. Hey, it's better than nothing. Double VHS fiddler on the roof. Oh yeah, I don't even think I said. I found uh where's she at? I've lost it, but I found the Jurassic Park soundtrack. Not on tape. That'd be awesome. I found a soundtrack one time to the cartoon Transformers show, movie, whatever. That sold for a pretty penny. That was pretty cool. I'm now on the second half of this bin. I really thought it'd be worth digging, but I've found nothing. Lots of Beethoven. I came to Madison, Alabama, bins, and all I got was a tone low cassette tape. Found in separate bins, Sims 2, and then Sims 2 Pets Guide. I'm not gonna buy either, but they're here. Atlas. Is that Alabama? Is that where we are, Alabama? I'll take it, put it in the bag. We're gonna get the video game. Oh yeah, Jurassic Park. Are we getting it at all? No. Wait, make sure it's not somehow magically a poster or something worthy of being framed. It's not, okay. Could have been. <sighs> okay. Did you find this for me? No. Would've been a lot cooler if you did. I did. One Bratz doll for the niece. Not Bratz, freaking A. 
OMG or LOL. I don't know which. I think it's both. Picture frame is priced individually. Books are priced individually. Tone low. Where is my hamburger bag? Okay, every time I go to a Goodwill binge for the first time, I sort of like to uh, give my spiel on it. And then from here on out, if I come back to this place, you won't really hear me talk about these things. But if anyone's wondering, prices in here were a little interesting. Zero to 25 pounds, 219 per pound, which is high. Um, I think when I left Arizona, it was like 170, but then if it's over 25 pounds, which happens a lot, you get that $1.79 price. Uh, dishes and stuff, 59 to 69. Oh, 59 and then 69 for electronics. Okay, that's not bad. 69 cents for electronics. And then this is interesting. All media, no matter what, it's just 59 cents each. I like that. And then bikes and rugs and these other items are just individually priced. So interesting pricing scheme with the bins. I do not like 219 per pound at all, but you know, whatever. What? Whatever. Two miles a gallon. Well, this one's gas, three cylinder, it gets 40. <laughs> I drove down here from Kentucky for like 20 bucks. So you can't yeah, beat that. Park, Kentucky. Owensboro. Is that where you live? Yeah. You know Owensboro? I know where it's at. I live in uh, near Ashland, Kentucky. Okay. You know where Ashland is. Yeah, yeah. Arizona, I see. That's where, yeah. I'm from Kentucky. Just moved back, actually. Oh. Good luck, though. I hope you like it. All right, man. See you. This smart car starts conversations everywhere I go. Guess where I am at right now. I'm at the first Bucky's I've ever been to that wasn't in Texas. We're in, where are we? Is this in Alabama? We're in Alabama at a Bucky's. And it's actually the busiest I've ever seen a Bucky's in my life. We had to wait in traffic outside of the Bucky's for like 20 minutes to get in. Uh, but look, I wore I wore the Bucky's tee, so you I knew I was coming. We're gassing up and I actually waited in line to get gas for like 10 minutes. This place is wild. I mean seriously, look at this traffic. It's Bucky's. It's wow. I got from Kentucky down to Alabama in less than half a tank, and we've driven off some of the other half of the tank, but I'm not even feeling up for me. I love driving a smart car. This is wild. This is a hell of a, they need to quadruple the size of this parking lot. What if they're out of burritos? Look how busy this place is. I've I've made clips before at Bucky's in Texas and been like, look how wild this is, look how crazy this is. It was nothing. It was nothing. This is nuts. I've never seen anything like this. What is happening? There's people yelling at me. I see couples arguing with each other about to get a divorce. I see free samples. What the hell is that? Jesus. Yeah, this is wild. Excuse me, go ahead. I won't run you over. Excuse me. I want icy. Uh, I want icy, I want icy. I want lemonade or Mountain Dew. I don't see Mountain Dew. I see Dr. Pepper. And pina colada. Is there just not going to be any lemonade either? There's no choices. I don't want any of this. I guess I'm going cherry limeade. I changed my mind. I'm going cane cola. Ooh, it does not look terribly icy. I'm going to drink this before I get out of here because of the lime. Got in and out with an icy. That's it. Nothing special. But we did it. We survived Bucky's. I hate you. It sucks to say, but that last spins. Uh, didn't do it for the day, so on the way home, stopped at the Nashville Bins West Side, and uh, we're gonna have better luck here. Oh my God! Grab that when they say go. I want the disco ball. <laughs> what you got dibs? Is that what you're saying? You need a disco ball? Put it in the cart. New rotation: Jurassic Park poster and a disco ball, which is hilarious because on a previous episode, you might recall, I almost bought one. But I waited, and you know, good things come to those who wait. So we went to that first bins, and a uh, whole lot of nothing. No rotation at all. They didn't bring out really any new stuff. And now we are, we've been here for like five minutes, and they're bringing out second rotation. So much bigger, faster bins. Happy to be here. I'm starting to feel like home. I've been here so much. As long as I've lived, I've never seen such a thing. It's a finger pointer, not a hand pointer foam finger also i see some lego over there. also i see some lego over this other bin all right it's gonna turn into a lego huh the lego are too big too good to be behind look are you serious no lego left behind it's a strict rule oh wow same bin no pokemon left behind let's go side up no side up left behind and a lego minifig cape 
fill this basket. No way. No way. That's uh that's probably ten bucks. Thomas tractor. I'm gonna have to sweep this whole bin now. Look at this coincidental find. Hey, I found a Thomas the tank engine tractor, so I think I've actually got a whole lot on eBay of Thomas the Tank tractors, specifically tractors and dump trucks. It hasn't really sold, so I might just delist and relist it with another tractor. So I got pretty lucky. Uh, Rubik's Cube, off-brand Rubik's Cube, but it's like all angular, but it will solve back to an actual square. Uh, and I have one of these at the shop, but it's actually broken. One of these pencil boxes full of thread, which I'm happy to find, but there's two things that you must know about. One, I would kill if this were yellow, for this to be yellow, but it's not, it's red, but I think that needs to be hung up at the shop. It's unique, it's quite, quite cool. And then, oh, not to figure out how to cut little bits of mirror to patch this up, but that's gonna get hung in the shop for sure. It bounced right back. I almost hit myself. Terrible. I was trying not to aim for your face. <laughs> I'm probably going to buy that and cut it off and have a Batman patch. Uh, what else did I see? My eyeballs just saw it. Oh, a pin. Disney pin. Beanie Baby? It's not TY? No. Ty? It's knockoff. It's like, it's like a dragon Yeah, but you know how T-Y, Ty makes yeah. the, yeah, 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 yeah. Horse ribbon. There's somewhere on earth, several pink and blue horse ribbons for me with my name on them as a ch from horse competitions when I was a child. I'm trying to go home with posters and picture frames. So I found this monkey, and then uh, someone else found the leg. So now I just gotta sew it back on. But that's cool because I found sewing supplies. I just don't know where they are now. I've lost them, but I'm trying to sort my stuff so we can get out of here at some point in a neater fashion. Sewing supplies, let's go. Um, see this bag? Maybe someone can comment below, but there's a, a name brand of this kind of bag that's sort of a croc wannabe. And they're like 120 bucks, something like that. This is a knockoff, okay? Not real, but we need a bag to carry our monkey out in, so might as well buy it if we go to the beach anytime soon. I just wish it was yellow. Poster. You're gonna definitely get that. This is bias tape, more sewing stuff, happy to find. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for picture frames that are cool that I can do more artwork like I did in a previous video. Um, so expect some cool artwork. Maybe when we get back to the shop to be put in there. Gonna buy the Lego. Some clothing. I'm definitely buying a disco ball no matter what. Now this weight thing is not so certain, but it's not that heavy. So I'll probably buy it. It's just be a couple bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, and I found this freaking Naruto DVD box set. There's only one disc in it, which is frustrating. Probably would have been a little bit valuable or at least worth getting. Um, it's blue clock, probably gonna get it. Looks like a nice piece. Hang at the shop or maybe make it to some artwork. I need to look at these CDs. There's some John Mayer in there and stuff. And then I'm gonna make guitar picks out of that. Okay, first of all, boom. Have you ever seen a Miyazaki film on VHS? I haven't. I thought it'd be worth a lot. It's worth like 10, 15 bucks, but I want it for me. Shonen Jump. Can't leave a Shonen Jump behind, but this is really where it's at. Christina Aguilera. Cool. Mud vein. Third Eye Blind. Not bad. Eight Stop Seven. I don't know those. I know Dido. Fast and Furious. Y'all truck. Let's go. New Groove. I remember that. There's like five Brian White CDs. Not a huge fan. Liam Ryan's cool. Let's go. Is the CD actually here? It's in there. Okay. I'm buying that one. I'm not buying the piano music. Uh, Celine Dion. I think we got by Aqua. Ooh, and John Mayer. 
any, is there any I'm leaving behind that I should get? Should I get the third eye bond? Maybe. I know, I'm really not interested. I'm probably gonna get Fast and Furious, why not? Cool. All right, well, I'll collect CDs now, I guess. Oh. Do you have any idea what this is? It looks like, well, I was gonna say maybe the um, bag from Up, but I don't think so. That might, you know what, that might be it. Maybe. But I was thinking it was definitely from some cartoon. Yeah. I definitely am gonna get all these pins. Mm -hmm. And if this is like from Up or something like that, did he have a flag on his backpack on Up? If so, that's what it is. Wait. Somebody threw this back. Google Up backpack. If it's up, we're getting it. But I definitely want these pins and stuff. And buttons. Okay, it's thinking actual up. Uh, Pixar. What was his name? The kid's name. I don't know. These guys probably know. But by the time they watch this, it's going to be too late. Kevin? No, that's the, no, that's the thing. Kid from up. It has, is that it? <laughs> Bruh. Look at it. We found the up backpack. All right, well, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to buy it. Yeah. Bet me I won't wear it. I'll pick the buttons and stuff off later. I bet this came from box lunch. Oh, well, I would have been able to say for sure if I just kept looking, it has a Disney Pixar stamp on it. That's fine of the day. Fine of the day. Wow, there's no way that there's two. So sometimes I look at a lot of bags <laughs> because bags will often have buttons and pins and stuff on them. And I just don't want to miss anything. Sure enough, two bags from some kid named Caleb with lots of Lego keychains on them. Two Ninjago, I think, keychains. And then Caleb's other bag has a Lego movie keychain. And Emmett, is that his name? Emmett is missing an arm, but we can fix that. That's awesome. And I also found a Goofy hat while looking. Pretty sure there's a video out there somewhere with a thumbnail of me wearing this hat. All right, we're gonna leave the bins here real soon. I'm just sort of double checking things. There's a Horton, here's a Who vinyl. I've never seen a Dr. Seuss vinyl but it's only like five, six bucks on eBay. Uh, Kissy Missy, and what's this thing's name? Isn't, doesn't this one have a different name? My nieces and nephews are obsessed with these YouTube made up characters. <laughs> they love this, so I'm gonna give that to them after I fix it, it's a little, it needs a little sewing. Cards Against Humanity, it's so heavy, but probably still worth it. Check out this, got, almost gotta be vintage Mickey bag. Uh, I'm, Sure, I showed it off already. It's so light, I'm definitely gonna buy this. I have to buy the disco ball just on principle alone. Uh, I'm not gonna get that, though I do sort of want to scan it just in case, see what we missed out on. Sure enough, these box sets scan in pretty high, but there's one disc in it. So that's a null. A single Shonen Jump. I usually only buy the stuff that has Yu-Gi-Oh on it just for display purposes, but like already that little bitty picture frame I had, how good it would look with just Invader Zim in it. So I'm so dumb. I just showed you nothing at all. There it is. That would, uh, that would fit inside of that little picture frame. I think wonderful. Don't you think that's ready to go? Invader Zim in the picture frame. So I'm going to probably get, I'm definitely buying this madness. One Rubik's cube going home. I think this is fine of the day. Not rare, but uncommon. Yes. We have the power. I've got spotlights at the shop too, so it's groovy. The real question is, what am I gonna put it on to make it infinitely spin? I'm sure they make devices for it. We're back. Let's do a quick recap. Alabama Ben's small, but very likely to be better in the future when more people are aware of it and uh, more people are, are coming to it. I've seen this before, brand new bins opens up, the public doesn't know so much, they don't rotate fast. I believe it'll improve because it's a nice quality bins and for as small as it was, it still had good stock. Uh, Nashville bins, banger as always. If you haven't seen them, there's two videos from like two or three weeks ago where I found just as good, if not better stuff than what I brought home today. Uh, but the Nashville bins, wildly consistent bins. So let's run through everything that I got at the Nashville bins, talk about a couple things. Uh, and why I bought it. Most of it's nonsense. Uh, there's one big money maker, huge money maker, and I'm very excited to talk about it. Uh, but let's let's save that for last. Cards Against Humanity. Uh, 
It's very heavy, so this probably costs five or six bucks, but still worth it. If I wanted to resell it, it's always moderately okay resell value. Actually, the best I've done reselling Cards Against Humanity is uh, a bunches of them at once, sets. Uh, the, the, the original and some of the expansions all at once always sells really well. Um, sewing supplies, a bag of Lego, and I'm still stoked on that foam finger because I've never seen a small one. I've got a really good idea though. I want to show you something. If you guys will just hang tight, I'll show you. Here's why I bought the foam finger. Alabama, number one! Ah! That's awesome. It's a Tindo Puppet size foam finger. One of you had to have known when you were watching the earlier part of this footage that that's why I bought it. One of you had to know. But the rest of that is just Lego Pokemon cards. I'll sort those into the Lego table. I really like the quality of this hat. Does anybody know anything about Scala? Authentic Classic Scala, S-C-A-L-A, 100% leather. I quite like it. This old ratty thing's falling apart on me. I only wear this hat because I can put my Sharpies in it, so around the shop. It's sort of better for me than an apron. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting a little pocket on there. Okay, I bought a poster and a picture frame. Several picture frames, so we'll uh, jump into that real quick. Two picture frames and a clock, we'll say. I bought this hoping it was the right size four. I'll be right back. See how oversized this frame for my signed yellow card poster is? It will fit. It's still too big, but I could put a I could put a mat in there to cover it, or I could just paste it in like it is, like if you actually see uh it's been taped on there as it is. So that could still be the right poster for that. I don't know, but if you haven't seen it, see if you can turn over here to this wall. Uh, Pokemon poster over there that's now framed and then back here behind me some Inuasha and Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm working very hard to get lots of things on my walls around here. There was a whole episode a little while back of me just making some of these posters. Go check it out if you haven't. It should be three or four videos ago. So I'm really working hard on that. But not everything I'm buying is for that. If and when I get back into the antique mall game, posters is definitely something I'm gonna go for uh, selling. So I brought this poster home today. One day I'll have a frame here that fits and I'll hang it in an antique mall for a few bucks. That's sort of what's going on in the back of my head. But at any rate, I've just got growing stacks of posters around here and artwork. That's not all for the artwork. Uh, I'm really set on taking that page from that Shonen Jump Invader Zim and putting it in here. So I might actually just go ahead and do that real quick just because it'll be simple. This comes apart quite easily. I'm hoping to get the right coverage here. So now I just have that Invader Zim cut out the size of the cardboard. I guess I'm gonna spray glue it on so I don't get glue everywhere. Line it up on the cardboard without messing myself up. Doesn't have to be perfect because the edges are for sure gonna get covered. All right, are you ready for the reveal? Yes! Yes! Your boy just discovered he has no not boring paints. So I'll find purple spray paint, paint that up, hang it on the wall back here. Maybe one day when I do get that antique mall, I'll sell it for a few bucks, but all in one go from the bins, come on. Not gonna do this on this episode, but I, I really thought this would be a good Doctor Who clock and replace the background with a TARDIS or something like this or some sort of vortex. But if not, this is a wonderful piece all on its own. Uh, it's clean. It came from some sort of, I don't know where it came from, but it's beautiful and I'm happy that I found it. And then I think find of the day for me definitely was Kiki's uh, delivery service on VHS. I, I've said enough. Uh, I'm very happy to have cool collectible stuff like that. I love Miyazaki films. Uh, I, this is new, there's nothing old or special about this, but just the sort of nostalgia of it. Uh, I couldn't leave it there. I don't think I'll put it on Depop, we'll see. I haven't gotten back into Depop yet. I've been saying I'm gonna do it. I've been amassing some stuff. I need to take some photos. Uh, I'll post links. There might already be a link to my Depop below. I probably never deleted it but it's not currently exactly active. Uh, next thing that I got, two pieces of plastic. This looks like trash to you, but I promise it's quite special. I show it off all the time. This is a three gallon bucket halfway full of guitar picks. And so you see that and the colors of it. We just go like this. And there is two guitar picks. So it did two at once, which is sort of cool. Um, I guess there's some sort of double thickness thing going on here that once it's come unglued. So, super stamp, I like that. Uh, 
I'm not gonna do this all on camera right now. That's pretty funny. But anytime I can bring materials like this home from the bins to further fill up this bucket, I do. I hope we get a five gallon bucket one day. Next up, these are for the niece and nephew. So I'll give that to my nephew after I've fixed him up a little bit. Or he's supposed to be the scary, ugly thing anyways. Might just leave him messed up. Uh, LOL doll for the niece. You know how kids are. You gotta get them both something at the same time or one of them's gonna cry. So we knocked it out of the park on that one. I, I don't know if I got this on camera while we were there, but a whole pair of Beats Studio original version. I think they're on like version three or four or something like that. So not wildly valuable, but still useful for like the gym or something. But if you've at all dabbled in selling these or any, or even had a pair, you'll know that the, the earpieces shed really bad. So what I'm actually gonna do is find some sort of solution, whether it be rubbing alcohol, I don't know exactly what, to not dip, but like brush on and safely just melt all that off so it's just fabric cushion earpieces because those are awful. I'm sure you can buy replacement ones and stuff, but I don't wanna mess with all that. Um, CDs, I showed them off while we were there. I've sort of behind the scenes been working on a stereo system for my shop where there's a record player, CD player, tape player, eight track, anything I can bring home from the thrift to test something or just listen in this room for my enjoyment. So we need to collect some albums to have. Not to mention when I get to traveling on my bus, I haven't put a CD player in there yet, but I will. It'd be very nice to be able to jam random CDs on the road that I bought at the last thrift stop. You know, I wanna find something random like Green, old Green Day, uh, John Mayer, or Aqua, which is hilarious. Third eye blind. Um, we'll save that for in a minute. Book wise, really all I got worth note at that uh, Madison, Alabama bins was two textbooks to put up on eBay. Been doing okay with textbooks. It's maybe runner up fight of the day, or fight of the day at least for that uh, Alabama bins. Tone Loke, uh, Loked After Dark. I like bringing home cool cassette tapes. Not really worth resale, but when I get that system over here, we can jam it. Not gonna probably keep the Shonen Jump, it's so torn up. If there's any other little bits of artwork to be stamped out of here to put in clocks or any of that other stuff that I'm doing, I just might do it. I don't see anything right off the bat, but you know, you never know on these color pages what might have full art that's worth framing. Uh, but I like buying Shonen Jump. I just, I only shelf the ones that have Yugi on the cover. What else, what else, what else? For the Rubik shelf, which is good, good week for Rubik's it turned out. Uh, the lone video game, F's and chat for that. Uh, the keychains you all saw, pretty happy about those, though both of them, all of them are missing hands. I don't know what's up with that. Um, does anyone want to see me be destructive? That is for the patch. The hat's not worth saving, so. What I'll actually do is just cut it out. I'm not even gonna cut it out like nicely. I'll do that when I need it. But if I get a new backpack and it needs a Batman patch, then we'll just put it in the patch box. For then, save it for later. Uh, what else? I'm not gonna do it on camera, but you can imagine. Uh, the monkey just needs a little whip stitch with a, a needle and thread and I could put the foam finger on him if I wanted. It could just be foam finger monkey. It's a character. Alrighty, ready to go. Okay, I think that's the last thing. There could be things I've forgotten. Seems like every time I film one of these videos, a week later I find something in the car. <sighs> and then realize I never put it on video. This I did not realize while we were at the store was valuable. The up backpack. What did we figure out the kid's name from up was? Uh, uh, you don't remember either? Me neither. My memory is not that great. Uh, so, we, I knew pretty instantly when I found it that it was the... Uh, Russell. Russell! I knew pretty quickly this was the up backpack. I knew this was Russell's backpack, though I didn't know Russell's name. Could not have imagined it being valuable. I thought at best this was $20. It was from Box Lunch or something like that. Um, if someone knows you, you're welcome to comment below where this might have come from. It says Lounge Fly below Disney Pixar on the patch and I'm certain that's the brand. I looked it up, I searched the words Lounge Fly and I think I even searched Disney Pixar up backpack. Tons of backpacks came up in both search and sold search that sold for plenty of money and I was like wow, 
And then I realized this one wasn't popping up a lot. So I figured when I scrolled across it, it was really gonna go for some money. And sure enough, this backpack has sold for 150, 175 recently-ish. So um, the zippers all work, nothing seems to be broken. The only sort of downside is it's been covered in pins. So you can see where pins were already taken off here and there's light holes in there. So we're probably not gonna fetch that full 175. I'll be surprised if I get any less than 100 bucks for that purse. So resell of the day, Russell's purse. Uh, if I'm going from a money standpoint, that's the find of the day. Look at these finds. I thought about going ahead and busting this out and hanging it on the ceiling here during the episode, but it's got a, I wouldn't say repairs. It needs some modifications. I've got a box in the back that has the proper locking ring to lock in the light and then I need to get chains or I, I need to do some stuff to suspend it, but I'm very happy about that. I only wish that it was yellow. Now, all of you want to want to probably know why I bought a disco ball um, for nonsense. I'll say when we were riding home, the sun would sort of come in just like through the window and bounce off and it felt like a disco party in, in the car. This is just kind of weird stuff I want. Um, there's lights back here. I might even just like centerpiece hang it right there. I mean, already you see what I'm going for here, right? There's just weirdness behind me. I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to go. If anyone knows anything about disco balls, if there's any sort of, maybe not proprietary, but like common device used to spin disco balls, people that worked at a skating rink, maybe you'll know. I want whatever that is. I obviously could build something with some servos to do it infinitely. But I, if there's something already out there for a few bucks, I'd rather buy it. But if not, I'm going to make something to make it spin. I'm going to hang a spotlight up there to hit it. And we're going to have disco party behind me when I film these videos. And then there's this bag. I'm 99% sure this is off brand because I'm pretty sure when I looked at the proper ones in stores that had some logos on it. But at any rate, it's functional. And this will be the beach bag around the shop for if I need to carry wet things. It's all rubber, like a pair of Crocs. But what I want to know from you guys before we get out of here, what's your favorite thing that we brought home from the bins today? Was it the VHS? Was it some of this randomness? Was it the instant creation of Invader Zim? I, I, I mean, I like that. I think I'm going to go with the VHS, though, as my find of the day. So you comment yours below. I want to know what you like that we brought home. And then other than that, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on, because we got a lot more videos to come. I actually keep shooting too many videos. So I'm sort of posting things in a weird order to get them out in a sensible manner, but I don't know what's coming before or after this video. I'm so sort of twisted right now, but I do know I've got banger videos coming. So subscribe notifications. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace out. There it is. I'll take it.